the psychopathic narcissism of Sarnetta's psychological, verbal, emotional abuse tactics, part one. Friend Gary, also known as Sarnetta, who uses verbal abuse as a fake form to dominate and to control those that are on his platform. This narcissist uses very narcissistic, emotionally abusive tactics that should not be tolerated or allowed. The truth of the matter is, when the narcissist use these tactics, they use them for the purpose of intimidation and or control. All you need to do is show this person that he does not have control and that he does not intimidate you one bit. In fact, the best thing to do is for you to take control and that you become the most intimidating force. Now allow us to go on with the program. How could he even do with that? So, so you wouldn't do that? If you had a brother, you wouldn't make sure your brother's life would continue? So I met her? What I'm um, looking at is the... Is that a yes or a no? Uh, yeah, I'm going to answer you. Calm down. I'm not emotional. Calm down. I'm asking uh, a question because you like to duck and dodge. Yeah, okay. a ask me the question. If, if, if you, I don't know what I'm not going to talk about your family. Let's just say hypothetically, mm -hmm. I'm just living like this. You wouldn't try to perpetuate your, your family's line? Yes or no? Yes, I would. So why the fuck you call the most high and emotional bitch if you would, if you would do what that wicked ass nigga who got killed wouldn't do? Did, um, did that get you mad when I said that? No. It made me fucking embarrassed for our people. It, it, it looked like man. you were really upset and emotional. Nigga, because I want our people to... I'm he asked him, did he get him mad when he said that? It looks like you're upset and you're getting emotional. Logical abuse. What is emotional abuse? Let's take a look here. What is emotional abuse? Emotional abuse involves controlling another person by using emotions to criticize, embarrass, shame, blame, or otherwise manipulate them. While most common in dating and marriage relationships, mental or emotional abuse can occur in any relationship, including amongst friends, family members, and co-workers. This is mostly done in marriage relationships and when dating. So when a person is doing it, giving you emotional abuse, he is treating you like you his B.I. In general, a relationship is emotionally abusive when there is a consistent pattern of abusive words and bullying behaviors that wear down a person's self-esteem and undermine their mental health. This is what Sarnetta does. He tries to wear down your self-esteem and to undermine one's mental health. I want the majority of people to fucking die. That's How do you, listen, listen, I can't, I can't check stomach this out. niggas no more. How do you think? I can't stomach y'all niggas no more. Right, check this out. Good, that's good. We got to get a, a stronger stomach. So listen, um, no, not, how do you think, how do you think I get, do you see that? He just, he just undermined the brother's mental health right there. Yeah, we need, yeah. we need how do you, to start killing niggas. Let me, let me ask you the question now. How do you think the comedic brothers feel when you be going in on that? You don't see them turned up and do all that crazy shit. You see that? Now, Sarnetta is trying to control. They do this to intimidate and or to control. Now, right now, he is trying to control. 
what he is trying to do is to get the Israelite here to submit to him and his comedic philosophies and his comedic uh, brethren while he does not do so because he is beefing with a, 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 at least two or three big well-known comedic teachers. So this is nothing more than a psychological, verbal, and emotional abuse tactics that is being done by Sagara. That y'all do. Y'all can talk about everybody religion. The minute they talk about your God, look at what you're doing. Acting like a bitch, losing all your emotion. Uh, so I never called the, so I never said the God is a bitch. Yes, I said the motherfucker's a bitch. You said that you. you the underlying goal of emotional abuse is to control the other person by discrediting them, isolating, and silencing them. It is one of the hardest forms of abuse to recognize as it can be subtle and insidious, but it can also be overt and manipulative. As we finish out this clip, I want you to pay attention to Sarnetta's behavior. And you'll see that he makes a lot of uh, unrealistic expectations. He invalidates you. He creates chaos. And he even uses emotional blackmail. He acts superior. He controls and isolates you. You know, he does uh, all these types of emotional abuse. Let us look into this. We're going to break all of this down and show you how Sarnetta is a very disrespectful, psychologically damaged and abused person. And we will let you know that Sarnetta has been abused all of his life because people that has been abused feel the need to abuse others. People that abuse others uh, do it because they were abused. This is a number one sign that you have been child abused and abused as a child. Unrealistic expectations. One sign of emotional abuse is if one person places unrealistic expectations on you. Examples of this include making unreasonable demands expecting you to put everything aside to meet their needs, demanding you to spend all of your time together, being dissatisfied no matter how hard you try or how much you give. This is the reason why no matter how many times you go on this show, no matter what you say, no matter what evidence you have, no matter how many times you beat these people up in the debates, you'll always lose and you'll never be a winner on side of show. He criticizes you for not completing tasks according to their standards, doing what they say, right? Expecting you to share their opinions, right? They want you to look at history according to their pseudo-philosophies and very non-academic standards. Uh, they demand uh, that you name exact dates and time when you're discussing things uh, 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 that get upset with you. Uh, he invalidates you, right? Another sign that someone may be emotionally abusive is if they invalidate you. Some examples of invalidation include undermining, uh, dismissing, or distorting your perception or your reality. Sarnetta is very good at undermining people. He dismisses all facts. He distorts, uh, 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 he distorts people's perception and their reality. He refuses to accept your feelings by trying to define how you should feel. Uh, he requires you to explain how you feel over and over again, uh, 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 accusing you 
of being too sensitive, right, too emotional, or crazy even, uh, refusing to acknowledge or accept your opinions or ideas as valid, uh, dismissing your request, wants, and needs as ridiculous or unmerited, suggesting that y- your perceptions are wrong or that you cannot be trusted by saying things like, Uh, you're blowing this out of proportion or you exaggerate things. Uh, Sarnetta excusing you of being, he accuses you of being selfish, needy, or materialistic if you express your wants or needs. Uh, He's very chaotic. He creates chaos. Emotionally abusive people also tend to create chaos. Some examples of these red flags include starting arguments for the sake of arguing, making confusing or contradictory statements, sometimes called crazy making, right? Sarnetta is very crazy making, right? Because he makes very confusing and contradictory statements. Having drastic mood changes or certain emotional outbursts, you'll see all of this in this in this uh, next segment. He, he does a lot of nitpicking. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times at your clothes, your hair, or your work, and more so in this case, people work, behaving so erratically and unpredictably that you feel like you are walking on eggshells. So I never makes people do that. You should not allow him to make you feel that way. You should have him feel in that way. Use emotional blackmail. If someone tries to use your, your emotions against you, this is a sign of emotional abuse. Making manipulations and controlling you by making you feel guilty or or, or, or putting you on a guilt trip, humiliating you in public or private, uh, using your fears, values, compassions, or others hot buttons to control you or the situation, exaggerating your flaws or pointing them out in order to deflect attention or to avoid taking responsibility for their own poor choices and mistakes, denying that an event took place or lying about it, punishing you by withholding affection or giving you the silent treatment. Uh, Act superior, Sarnetta, act superior. People who are emotionally abused and abusive also also often act superior and entitled. Things to look for when considering whether a person in your life exhibits this sign of emotional abuse. Treating you like you are inferior. Blaming you for their mistakes and shortcomings. Right? Calling you uh, uh, non-scholarly, calling you dumb, calling you uneducated, when this guy doesn't even have a high school diploma, doubting everything you say and attempting to prove you wrong, and it's always an attempt because they never can do it, making jokes at your expense, telling you that your opinions, ideas, values, and thoughts are stupid, illogical, and don't make sense, and can't prove none of that, don't know, can't, can't tell you what logic is, right, couldn't even find it, right? Uh, talking down to you or being condescending, they do all of that, using sarcasm when interacting with you, acting like they are always right, know what's best, and are smarter than you. Uh, controls and isolates you. He always throws you off his panel. He, he mutes you. He puts you in the back. Emotionally abused and abusive people will attempt to isolate you and control you. Some examples of this form of emotional abuse includes controlling who you see or spend time with, including friends or family. Okay, uh, well, in Sarnetta's case here, you know, uh, uh, he treats you like you property and he own you on his show. You know what I'm saying? He, he acts jealous and envious, you know. Uh, he throws you, like I said, he does a lot of muting, which is isolation, uh, throwing you off the show, you know, uh, 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 putting you in the back and all of that type of stuff. So you got all of these different types 
of emotional abuse and Sarnella is good for all of them, which is accusing of cheating or other signs of jealousy and or possessiveness, a constant checking on or attempting to control the other person's behavior. You know, he does that a lot. Uh, constantly arguing or opposing, he does that a lot. Criticizing, he does that a lot. Gaslighting, he does that a lot. Isolating the individual uh, uh, from his show. Uh, name calling and verbal abuse. Refusing to participate uh shaming or blaming he does all of these things he even does the silent treatment uh trivializing the other person's concerns and withholding affection and attention we're going to get off into this next segment of the show Christian. He's a 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 Christ
worship the sun, so does he. Okay? Well, there's no problem with that. The Hindus do. The Christians do. All the motherfuckers worship the goddamn sun. It says, who is Ra? Who is Ra to you? If Ra doesn't exist, it's just the sun. Right. Now, how do you think he'll feel with you telling him his God yeah, don't exist? The sun does exist. Right? But you said Ra don't exist. Or as a God, the sun is not a God. That's what he believes. I mean, he has a right to believe that. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I'm not talking crazy about his... his I, I, the, the shit that them niggas do was the in ancient Egypt. Just, I just, just, with just um, he worship what he want to worship. I mean, why did you say Why did you say that the beat was off with you and Gotham? This is the first time I'm hearing that. Son of a man, come on, man. We all feel like everybody ain't, come on, man. We all feel like everybody ain't looking and seeing that, that I, I, I hit you up and said, yo, is the debate still going on? You wouldn't even answer me back. I didn't see that, but I didn't. Did I say yes or no? What did I say? You didn't answer me back and you did see it. So you took it upon yourself to say the debate is canceled, brother. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, as you can see here, Sarnetta is a very, very, very psychologically abused man. He is verbally abusive. He is emotionally abusive by all of the signs. When we go down the checklist, Sarnetta, check, 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 check on almost everyone. This tells me that Sarnetta also has a history of physical abuse, okay? He, phys he has physically abused his children and his wives. He verbally abused them, and he has emotionally abused them. Sa Netta, Sa Netta, excuse me, is a very psychologically, emotionally, physically, and verbally abused man, and has been abused since he was a child. How do we know this? Because people that abuses others are people that has been abused. Back family, I, it is me, brother DSP, your friendly, your friendly, your friendly your check personality. Check this out here. Heavy, heavy hitters from We're Robin going County, to check Robin out County. some Big more of God. Cheddar disrespecting women, in particular his wife, Nathai. As I stated in the previous video, I don't know their dynamic. That may be something that they're into. I'm just using these clips. I want to show those who may not be aware of what verbal abuse is and what verbal abuse sounds like. Verbal abuse. This man is sick. We need him yeah. to let me fucking out, out, Frankie. Fuck the conscious shit right now. Let me out. And so now you got Frankie today. You got Frankie today. Where is the sauce, Nepal? You just talking. Where's the damn sauce? Where's the damn sauce? Because I'm tired of you fucking bitches. Yeah, I said that. I, I want to speak. So hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. I, I want to speak. Wait, yeah, man. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, because let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this on Nether, Reggie, Jabari. Yeah, queen, yeah, Hold on, I know y'all are triggered. You telling me I'm supposed to treat her with fucking respect after that? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, if you hear me, if you hear me, toss up or shut the fuck oh, yeah. up. I guarantee you they can't show it. They won't be able to show it. Because they nothing but liars. These bitches are nothing but liars. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Goddamn. How you think I learned a lot of this shit? Okay. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Sauce the fuck up or shut the fuck up. And if you can't show the people, then use a lying whore. Then use a lying whore. Son, I don't think it's no disrespect. Sauce the fuck up or shut you, the fuck I'm up. I'm trying to talk. What the hell you talking about, man? Okay. I got the baddest chicken game. Where my goddamn chicken? I ain't no fucking, there ain't really no damn Kimmy. The fuck is wrong with you hoes? So I have an evil in the operating room? I got to call it like I see it. 
it. No, no, I'm not this. I'm no, going I'm to start stop sign it, but let me say this. That's the way I'm giving it up today. The way I'm giving it up today. Got no respect for you bitches today. The way you're talking to me, and don't ever say you're getting disrespect. I never talk to you like this in public. You're gonna be apologetic. Sauce the fuck up, sex. But I am. Sauce the noise. Sauce the fuck up. See how I can get, huh? If you're on this panel and you're talking all that dumb shit, sauce the fuck up. Simple as that. Because I tried to give you a fucking um some love over here. I talk to you with respect, but the nice guys finish last. We finish fucking last all the time. Ain't no more being nice with you hoes and bitches. Look at what you do. Acting like a bitch. Losing all your emotion. Hey, so I never called the, so I never said the word. God is a bitch. Yes, I said the motherfucker's a bitch. You said that you, you talk so much about Kimmy. I don't give a fuck about that. Because it's all man-made shit. The underlying goal of emotional abuse is to control the other person by discrediting them, isolating, and silencing them. It is one of the hardest forms of abuse to recognize as it can be subtle and insidious, but it can also be overt and manipulative. I was watching a, a, a Southern Studios. I just come back to the hospital, and I just have to click, you know, click on YouTube, see what was going on. And then I hear Southern. He's like, "God was acting like a bitch. He was emotional. This, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah." Right? And I'm like, and he keeps talking about the same thing. He said the brother keeps doing this, but I repeat. In general, a relationship is emotionally abusive when there is a consistent pattern of abusive words and bullying behaviors that wears down a person's self-esteem and undermine their mental health. Attention to Sarnetta's behavior, to Sarnetta's behavior, and you'll see that he makes a lot of uh, unrealistic expectations, he invalidates you, he creates chaos, and he even uses emotional blackmail, he acts superior, he controls and isolates you. You know, he does uh, all these types of emotional abuse. Let us look into this. We're going to break all of this down and show you how Sarnetta is a very disrespectful, psychologically damaged and abused person. And we will let you know that Sarnetta has been abused all of his life because people that has been abused feel the need to abuse others. People that abuse others uh, do it because they were abused. This is a number one sign that you have been child abused and abused as a child. Unrealistic expectations. One sign of emotional abuse is if one person places unrealistic expectations on you. Examples of this include making unreasonable demands expecting you to put everything aside to meet their needs he is right couldn't even define it right uh talk by trying to use others people that abuse others uh do it because they were abused this is a number one sign that you have been child of that he makes a lot of uh, unrealistic expectations he invalidates you he creates chaos and he even uses emotional blackmail. He acts superior. He controls and isolates you. You know, he does uh, all these types of emotional abuse. Let us look into this. We're going to break all of this down and show you how Sarnetta is a very disrespectful, psychologically damaged and abused person. And we will let you know that Sarnetta has been abused all of his life because 
feel the need to abuse others. People that abuse others uh, do it because they were abused. This is a number one sign that you have been child abused and abused as a child. Unrealistic expectations. One sign of emotional abuse is if one person places unrealistic expectations on you. Examples of this include making unreasonable demands, expecting you to put everything aside to meet their needs, demanding you to spend all of your time together, being dissatisfied no matter how hard you try or how much you give. This is the reason why no matter how many times you go on this show, no matter what you say, no matter what evidence you have, no matter how many times you beat these people up in the debates, you'll always lose and you'll never be a winner on Sarnetta's show. He criticizes you for not completing tasks according to their standards, doing what they say, right? Expecting you to share their opinions, right? They want you to look at history of according to their pseudo philosophies and very non-academic standards. Uh, they demand uh, that you name exact dates and time when you're discussing things uh, uh, that get upset with you. Uh, he invalidates you, right? Another sign that someone may be emotionally abusive is if they invalidate you. Some examples of invalidation include undermining, uh, dismissing, or distorting your perception or your reality. Sarnetta is very good at undermining people. He dismisses all facts. He distorts, uh, 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 he distorts people's perception and their reality. He refuses to accept your feelings by trying to define how you should feel. Uh, he requires you to explain how you feel over and over again, ex uh, 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 accusing you of being too sensitive, right, too emotional or crazy even, uh, refusing to acknowledge or accept your opinions or ideas as valid, m uh, dismissing your request, wants, and needs as ridiculous or unmerited, suggesting that y your perceptions are wrong or that you cannot be trusted by saying things like, uh, you're blowing this out of proportion or you exaggerate things. Uh, Sarnetta uh, excusing you of being, he accuses you of being selfish, needy, or materialistic if you express your wants or needs. Uh, he's very chaotic. He creates chaos. Emotionally abusive people also tend to create chaos. Some examples of these red flags include starting arguments for the sake of arguing, making confusing or contradictory statements, sometimes called crazy making, right? Sarnetta is very crazy making, right? Because he makes very confusing and contradictory statements. Having drastic mood changes or sudden emotional outbursts, you'll see all of this in this in this uh, next segment. He, he does a lot of nitpicking. Uh, be, a, lot, a lot of times at your clothes, your hair, or your work, and more so in this case, people's work, behaving so erratically and unpredictably that you feel like you are walking on eggshells. So that makes people do that. You should not allow him to make you feel that way. You should have him feeling that way. Use emotional blackmail. If someone tries to use your, your emotions against you, this is a sign of emotional abuse. Making manipulations and controlling you by making you feel guilty or, 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 or putting you on a guilt trip, humiliating you in public or private, uh, using your fears, values, compassions, or others' hot buttons to control you or the situation, exaggerating your flaws or pointing them out in order to deflect attention or to avoid taking responsibility for their own poor choices and mistakes, denying that an event took place or lying about it, punishing you by withholding affection or giving you the silent treatment. Uh, act superior, Sarnetta, act superior. People who are emotionally abused and abusive also 
also often act superior and entitled. Things to look for when considering whether a person in your life exhibits this sign of emotional abuse. Treating you like you are inferior. Blaming you for their mistakes and shortcomings, right? Calling you uh, uh, non-scholarly, calling you dumb, calling you uneducated when this guy doesn't even have a high school diploma. Doubting everything you say and attempting to prove you wrong, and it's always an attempt because they never can do it, making jokes at your expense, telling you that your opinions, ideas, values, and thoughts are stupid, illogical, and don't make sense, and can't prove none of that, don't know, can't, can't tell you what logic is, right, couldn't even define it, right, uh, talking down to you, or being condescending, they do all of that, using sarcasm when interacting with you, acting like they are always right, know what's best, and are smarter than you. Uh, controls and isolates you. He always throws you off his panel. He, he mutes you. He puts you in the back. Emotionally abused and abusive people will attempt to isolate you and control you. Some examples of this form of emotional abuse includes controlling who you see or spend time with, including friends or family. Okay. Uh, well, in Sarnetta's case here, you know, uh, uh, he treats you like you property and he only you on his show. You know what I'm saying? He, he acts jealous and envious, you know. Uh, he throws you, like I said, he does a lot of muting, which is isolation, uh, throwing you off the show, you know, uh, 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 putting you in the back and all of that type of stuff. So you got all of these different types of emotional abuse that Sarnella is good for all of them, which is accusing of cheating, or other signs of jealousy and or possessiveness, a constant checking on or attempting to control the other person's behavior. You know, he does that a lot. Uh, constantly arguing or opposing, he does that a lot. Criticizing, he does that a lot. Gaslighting, he does that a lot. Isolating the individual uh, uh, from his show. Uh, name calling and verbal abuse. Refusing to participate uh, shaming or blaming, he does all of these things. He even does the silent treatment. Uh, trivializing the other person's concerns and withholding affection and attention. We're going to get off into this next segment of the show.
there's nothing special about you because you're following some spook ass God, some God who we know is narcissistic. There's nothing special about Oh, I hate Africans because of what they did to my people.